Now struck. Uh, hello and welcome to Comes with the Frame Family, the game. Now on Super Nintendo. Oh, wait a minute. What is this, Sim City? Independence Day with Sim City? Something? Whoa. What the hell's going on here? Here's that guy is frozen while the, the ship is able to move. The guy is in, in pure awe. Uh-oh. We getting some exposition here? No, we're just gonna get a planet exploding. Looks like Alderaan. Anyway, the story is that a bunch of planets were blown up by these dudes. <laughs> Paraphrasing. So... Indestructible forces of this enemy are overwhelming the small and tired fleet of the solar system. Boy, that's a clunky translation there. Could have been better. Goodbye, pictures of the frame fam or uh, comes with the frame family. We're gonna do this one for you. Master Chief is gonna defend this planet. Axel. Yep, that's right. I enjoyed doing the Gradius 3 Let's Play. Uh, it's really hard to talk and play at the same time, but I'm going to give it another go. And this time I'm going to try and finish the whole game. I can do that pretty... Well, I can, I can do it. Um, I can. I finished Axelaya before, but I finished it on easy. Um, I did finish it on normal not too long ago, but easy is a little more manageable to uh, talk and play at the same time. It's a little less chaotic. Things are a little less fast. Um... Yeah. So think less of me if you want. I don't really care. But you know, I never really messed with that before. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Let's get a move on. So yeah, at the beginning of each level, you get the choice of. So, uh, you'll see the empty slots there eventually fill up with other weapons that you can choose from. They're not as powerful, or the they're more powerful than the ones that you have now. If you choose to go back to them, they're not going to be as powerful. Oh my God! Off to a terrible start. That was really bad. Anyway, um, yeah, if you get hit with a projectile with an enemy with enemy fire, you lose your your weapon gets disabled. But if you run into an enemy or run into an obstacle of some kind, you uh, you die. So I'm gonna try not to do that again. Like those rocks right there, hit one of those, you're dead. But if you get hit by a laser, or what the stuff that that thing fires, like those lasers right there, you only lose your weapon. And that'll happen quite a bit too, so. Another thing about having this game on easy is that you get, I think, six continues. Whereas on normal, you get five, and hard, you get four, I think. I think it goes six, five, four. Anyway, this is one of the best looking shoot 'em ups on the Super Nintendo, and the best looking one without any slowdown whatsoever. And I pointed this out in my review for the game, but it's awesome how, you know, this is a t the top down section of the game, one of the three top down levels. And uh, I love how this horizon is kind of tilted there, and the color fades a bit, gr is a gradient to white. Damn it! I guess those missiles can kill you too. Shit. Um, yeah, it looks like you're racing toward a horizon, which is really freaking a really nice touch. Makes the game look uh, really fast. I guess the scrolling helps too. But... Come on, die already. There we go. <sighs> Moving along, I'm going to try not to get a continue here. I should be okay. I don't usually have this much trouble with the first level. Oh, see, I got hit there. That gun is toast. Nicely sectioned uh, level here, too, where you've got, you start out with your traditional enemies flying around, literally encircling you, and then you've got the big boss, and now you've got kind of closed quarters that emphasize uh, navigation. 
that's going to be, uh, or emphasize, you know, dodging stuff. And then you got these big, weird-looking guns. Now, coming up here, it's the speed's going to pick up a little bit. And this is kind of a tricky section, but, oops, there we go. Got both of them, cool. All that really matters is, uh, you know, people mock the idea, here we go, see it picks up speed a little bit. You gotta shift all the way to one side, and then you shift all the way to the other side. People mock the idea of points in a game like this, but points matter because you get extra lives in games like this. And extra lives in games like this are really effing important, obviously. So, you want to blow up as much as you can, but don't go out of your way and risk uh, a ship, risk an extra life to do that. And we're at boss time. It's a big ass fucking spider. I love the. Uh, it always helps to read the instruction book in bosses like the, or for games like this because it gives a brief description on like the boss and why the boss is designed the way it is. It's designed in this case. It's designed to scare the shit out of the enemy. I'm paraphrasing, but that's essentially what it says. People will freeze from fear when they see this thing. Something like that. I mean, yeah, on easy, this thing is, is pretty effing easy. If you just blow up in the middle there, keep moving away. And eventually, its legs break off. It crashes into the planet, killing thousands on the surface below. And we've made it through level one, only dying once, and we did get an extra guy. You usually get an extra guy. Um, a free guy, I should say. Gotta use my usual parlance. Get a free guy at the end of each level, usually. Hey, wait a second, now we're side-scrolling. Yeah, that's right, Axley is, the, is that game where you switch back and forth between top-down and side-scrolling. Uh, personally, I think the side-scrolling levels are a little more fun. There's this level, level four, which is the uh, underwater level, so to speak, and then the last level, uh, which is where you're in outer space and then you fly into this enemy ship and eventually meet the final boss. The top-down levels are the one we just finished. Uh, the one we just... Uh, and then the fire one, the one on the, on the lava planet. And then... Uh, oh, that's level five. And then uh, after this is like some kind of boring... Like Mars level, I think. Something like that. It's my least favorite level in the game. Just because it's not as strong as some of the other ones. Anyway, as you can see, this gun, I like this weapon a lot and prefer to use it because it has a throttle, so to speak. If you let go of the button, it'll cycle, it'll circle back and hit those guns on the top. Oh shit, I might be stuck here. There we go. And uh, yeah, it, it's a... Uh, you let go of the button, it doesn't stop firing, it just circles back to behind the ship. And then it stops firing. It's a really nice touch in a game like this. I don't think there's another weapon in another shoot 'em up that I can recall of this era that has a weapon quite like this. So it's pretty good. Pretty cool idea. Again, we got a little bit of a slower pace here uh, to emphasize dodging. Oh god, not these fucking things. I hate these things. Die already. Die, 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 die. Come on! That's some bullshit. I was only hammering on the thing the entire time it was in my field of view. Oh, I got hit. Son of a bitch. Come on. I'm not going to use a continue on the second level. No effing way. Let's just bomb the shit out of these things. Yeah, I forgot to mention, we did get a, le a weapon upgrade for one weapon at the end of the last level. There we go, I at least got one of the stupid things. And the upgrade is like this heavy bombing thing, and you fly on top of everything, and can just carpet bomb the shit out of these things, which is pretty cool. Looks like SimCity in the background there. You can see Bowser going around. Uh, why can't I hit this thing? Come on, there we go. Expect to look down and see Bowser. Or expect to look down and see the, the shitty cities I created in SimCity where it's like, it's got like 200 airports and like one park. 
like the mayor's house, and that's it. I'm not made of airports. All right, we have uh, come across uh, boss time here, or come up to boss time. I'm going to leave it off here. So next time we'll take on the boss at level two. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.